Two free operating systems walk into a bar. One has a 34% market share and corporate backing. The other gets new features first, and Linus Torvalds uses it. So which one should you download? Let's start with Ubuntu, because it dominates the Linux space with a 34% market share. That's not luck. Ubuntu nailed the beginner-friendly approach two decades ago and never let go. Their LTS releases get five years of support, extendable to 12 with Ubuntu Pro. That's stability you can set and forget, which is why 66% of experienced developers picked it. When you install Ubuntu, it just works. Hardware compatibility is solved. Software availability is handled. The enormous community means every error message you'll ever see already has 17 Stack Overflow answers. But here's the tension. Ubuntu prioritizes stability over cutting-edge features. You're getting tested, polished software that won't explode your system. But you're also six months behind on kernel updates and new technologies. If you're running servers or need predictable production environments, that's perfect. If you want Wayland support and the latest GNOME features the day they drop, you'll be checking your watch. Enter Fedora with a completely different philosophy. New release every six months. 13 months of support per version. This is the testing ground for Red Hat Enterprise Linux, which means you're essentially beta testing enterprise features before they get locked down. Fedora ships the newest kernel, the latest desktop environments, and experimental tech like Wayland years before Ubuntu committed. Linus Torvalds runs Fedora. That tells you something about its appeal to developers who want the bleeding edge without the bleeding. The trade-off? You're upgrading twice as often, and occasionally things break. Not catastrophically, but enough to require troubleshooting. Fedora assumes you know what you're doing and doesn't hold your hand. The community is smaller, so obscure hardware issues might take longer to solve. But if you're a developer who needs to test against modern tech stacks, Fedora keeps you current without jumping to a rolling release. Here's what actually matters. For beginners, students, or anyone building stable infrastructure, Ubuntu wins. LTS support means less maintenance, broader compatibility, and when something goes wrong, solutions exist everywhere. For developers wanting cutting-edge tools, system administrators who enjoy tinkering, or anyone testing modern Linux features, Fedora delivers innovation at the cost of convenience. Neither is a scam. Both are legitimately excellent and completely free. The question isn't which is better, it's which matches your risk tolerance and update schedule. If this helped you pick the right distribution for your needs, perfect. I investigate tech decisions that cost you time and money, so you can skip the distro hopping phase and just build stuff. Hey, Mark here. So look, I spend a lot of time investigating these products, and honestly, I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might end up roasting next week. That would be <laughs> awkward. If this review helped you out, saved you from wasting money, or maybe helped you find something that's actually worth buying, here are a few ways you can support what we're doing here. First up, I've put the link to this specific product down in the description. If you want to check the current price or read more reviews, click through there. And if you do buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. Win-win. Second option, and this one's for all you regular Amazon shoppers, there's another link down there that just goes to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it, use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or just restocking on toilet paper. Using that link means a tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations. And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. <laughs> it's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. Now the third option is for those of you who need help right now. Like, you've got a product sitting in your cart and you're thinking, is this thing legit or am I about to waste my money? That's what our membership is for. Think of it like hiring me as your private BS investigator. For as low as three bucks a month, you submit products for urgent investigation, I do the deep dive and deliver a personalized review to your inbox in 24 to 72 hours, depending on your tier. It's basically like having me on speed dial for product research. Except, instead of calling, you just send me the sketchy product and I'll tell you if it's worth your money or complete garbage. Alright, that's it. Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there. Catch you next time.